Welcome back. Our OutKick 360 NFL preview continues. We're going to the second half of the AFC West today. And we start with the Las Vegas Raiders. Some big-time additions to this team. Josh McDaniels in as head coach. Devontae Adams, one of the greats in the game, wide receiver, and a former college teammate at Fresno State with Derek Carr. He's in. Chandler Jones on the edge. Rock seen at cornerback. Not a great addition. Some big losses. Yannick Ngakwe, Casey Hayward uh, mark that. But, Paul, I look at this Raiders team, and um, I think Hunter Renfro in Josh McDaniel's system is a guy to watch. We've seen the Patriots offense utilize that shifty slot type receiver and have some huge numbers with those guys. That's Hunter Renfro's strong suit. I think that's big. I mean, they added an absolute game wrecker on each side of the ball and Devontae Adams and Chandler Jones on offense and defense. Um, defensively, though, third defensive coordinator in three years now with Patrick Graham coming in. Going to be more of a 3-4 defense, so some question marks there. Look, Renfro, Adams, and Waller, you know, you could take that three-pack and, and compete with any yep. three-pack in the league. I, I think it's phenomenal. You have to remember, though, just how well things went for the Raiders last year. I mean, you could start at the end and say how, you know, that stupid timeout that the Chargers took in a game that decided the playoff spot where a tie would have gotten both teams in, but they took a timeout. It positioned the Raiders to go ahead and win that game, take the playoff spot for themselves, leave the Chargers out. They went into the playoffs and they and they lost to the Bengals, um, who who had a pretty substantial lead. The Raiders scored a little bit late to to make it close. But the Raiders, listen to some of these numbers, Chad. And it was a really challenging year. They had a lot go wrong. Gruden, um, the, the 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 fiery uh, drunken driving crash. Another guy, Henry with, Ruggs, with, yeah. with guns. Uh, I mean, it was a mess. Rich Basaccia, we talked about, did a phenomenal job holding that team together and getting them in the playoffs. They had four overtime wins, tied for the most in league history with the 2011 Arizona Cardinals. They were 5-1 and one in field goal games. They were 7-2 and two in one-score games. Now, the, uh, the analytics people say that those games are bound for regression. I make the case, you know, in, in the case of the Tennessee Titans, the Titans have won close games for two years in a row. I think that some good teams just get good at winning close games, and that's a, a hallmark of a good team, that you can win close games. And you could do it multiple years in a row because you're a good team who wins close games. I don't know if the Raiders quite qualify for that and not. They scored, uh, they gave up over 41 twice. They gave up, in addition to that, over 31 three times. After week nine, they were minus 79 in, in uh, score differential. Iraqi Sin, you're talking about, terrible player in Indianapolis. Uh, him for Casey Hayward, I don't like at all. And I think a lot of people are presuming that Josh McDaniel's second act is just going to be good. We're giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that it'll be better than it was in Denver because well, it was he, terrible in Denver. He also acknowledged his errors in Denver in that press conference, said, I learned a lot about what not to do. The first go-round, that's a good sign yes. that he's not coming into this blind. And I think he can run a good offense, but I don't know if he's a good CEO or not. There have been lots of good offensive coordinators who weren't good CEOs in terms of the job of a head coach. So we don't know about that yet. We can't pretend to know about that yet. Rich Basaccia was a pretty good CEO with all of the crazy stuff that was going on there. I think that this, in many ways, is probably the worst roster in a very good division. Um, so I, I like Carr more than a lot of people do. I like those three guys he's throwing to. But... Uh, their red zone rate on defense, they gave up 77% touchdowns when opponents got in the red zone. 
that's where the improvement's got to start from. Yeah, there. I mean, I like the roster. Uh, we talked about Adams and off on the offense, Waller, what they have there. It's not a bad roster, the, but the they're three better is, rosters. The maybe. quarterback is probably the worst from a talent perspective in that in that division. I would say, which is a shame because I mean, yeah, he's a good quarterback, but I mean, Russell Wilson. To me, it's between him and Herbert in terms of who's the worst quarterback in that division. Herbert, and I would take terrific. Herbert. Um, so th- th- that's that's a disadvantage for them defensively. You've got uh, – you're bringing in Chandler Jones. Max Crosby had the fourth highest pressure rate in the NFL a year ago. So that's on each side. You're getting after the quarterback. Here's an X factor. Their secondary is – For the Raiders. Question. Secondary is a question mark. Linebacker, they're okay. They signed some free agents in the middle of the defense on the defensive line. That, that should help. Cleveland Furl has been a bust. Total. He was the fourth overall pick. He gets a chance at a restart in a 3-4 defense under Patrick Graham. So if they're going to elevate, Cleveland Furl is going to be a big part of that, I think. that That's a guy to watch that does he make the most of a second chance because he's been a bust so far for the Raiders as the fourth overall pick. And he's a legacy of um... – I'm seeing his face, and I'm I'm not thinking of his name right now. The NFL Network guy who became Gruden's GM, Mike Mayock. Mike Mayock. Yep. He's he's Mike Mayock's big legacy guy, really. Uh, who went second in the draft, third in the draft when most people have fourth, eighteenth. He was the four, I think, the fourth pick in the draft. But again, three defensive coordinators: Paul Gunther, Gus Bradley, and now Patrick Graham. Yeah, three in three years isn't going to help anybody. Time for things to settle. Max down. Crosby's been fine. I think Chandler Jones is going to be fine. Is this third defensive coordinator a charm, at least for a Cleveland Furl who's, who's been disappointing? If they so far. continue to win close games, they'll prove to me that they're a, a good team who can sustain that. And if they don't, they'll, they'll prove the analytics people right in terms of the regression. Four overtime wins, that's, that's pretty crazy good.